This is my girlfriend Ella. Ella loves paddle, but her game could definitely use some work. Missed shots, bad timing, poor technique, and an 0 and 5 record when it comes to her matches. This needs to change. So I have made a plan. Three days of intense training, one goal, to transform Ella from a paddle disaster to a paddle winner. After the three days, she'll face off against the same opponents from her first game, but hopefully this time, not only will her technique have improved, she will also get the win. Let's do this. So we're at the store today because the first step of becoming a pro paddle player is making sure you have the right racket. I think you're gonna like this one. Oh my God, that color's insane. I know, let's open it, let's have yeah, a look. Whoa. <sighs> Wow. Yo, look at that. That looks so good. That's so nice. With her new limited edition racket in hand, Ella's not just ready to train, she's excited. I am hoping this boost of motivation will kickstart our training the right way. Here we go, training session one. This is all about trying to build technique and the basic fundamentals that Ella must follow if she wants to improve. Try and avoid just doing this with your wrist. Yeah, keep the continental grip as well and try and rather than bring it back, use your shoulders to turn more. So bring that left shoulder around a little bit more as well. Yeah, that's it, brilliant. So me and Ella started with a warm up and a few volleys just so I could see her technique. As you can see, her worst habit at the moment is bending her racket back and her swing is also too big. This massively impacts her consistency and it makes it very hard for her to control the ball. That's why so many of her volleys in the match were hitting the back glass. So step one for me is to try and simplify the shot and change it more to a push volley rather than a swing. If Ella's got any chance of winning her match, she needs to have consistent volleys, engaging all of her body rather than just relying on her arm. Then moving on to her ground stroke at the back of the court. At the back of the court, Ella would kind of flick with a little bit of slice on this ball and that really hurt her consistency again. Some would fly in perfectly and some would fly and hit the back glass. I need a steady, flat, soft ground stroke that I know is gonna come in nine out of 10 times. The hardest part was getting Ella aware of when she was slicing the ball and when she was hitting flat. Once she could feel the difference, it was easier to play the flat shot. The flat shot is the most consistent and slice often causes the ball to rise up to the opponent's volley, making it easier for them to kill the ball. Finally, we move on to the corner defense. This is a very tricky part of paddle and I thought it'd be really fun to just give it a go. To make it as simple as possible when defending in the corner on this side, I tell Ella that if it's gonna hit the side wall first and then the back wall, she needs to step away. But if it hits the back wall first and then the side wall, she needs to go towards the ball. This is an easy way of remembering where to move your feet. Ella's next bad habit in the corner is her preparation. She's got her racket up high, so this is another thing. When defending in that corner, I need her to prepare low as she's gonna be hitting the ball low to high. Don't move your racket. It's up. Yeah, everyone go like this. I know to keep it down as well. When returning serve, yep. if it hits this first panel, you let it hit, okay, and step away. Yep. If it's gonna come and hit this panel, you have to try and play it before. Let it hit, ball comes in, and you should be able to, most of the time, just play it off. So that's a let it hit. This one now, that's a play before, yeah? Do you see, because that's gonna hit the, last, the end one, yeah? Play before, good. Let it hit, good. Before, play. Good decision. And after Ella understood the basic theory, it was time for me to do some full on serves towards the sidewall and see how many she could get back. Good. 
We're now working on the overheads and high balls. Ella's previous strategy with this seemed to be how hard she could hit it onto the back glass. So I knew I had a lot of work to do. I was trying to fix Ella's habit, which is the same on her volley, where she just bends her back back and uses her arm and wrist to play the overhead. Instead, I needed to move her feet back get behind the ball and then play more of a push shot. The most important thing here is to build that consistency. Well done, that's amazing. That's a fantastic shot. You can also see the pace that she's playing the ball at is around 40%. If she gets good length and angle, it's still gonna be very tricky to defend, but also it will help her consistency. Turn. Well done, good. So what are you finding most hard at the moment? struggling with timing of hitting the ball. So I'm concentrating so much on the technique, that's, so I'm forgetting like I've got to hit it at the right time and hold my racket up, that's another yeah. thing. Yeah. I noticed yeah. I was doing that. Ella's facing a common problem found with most beginners, perfecting her timing whilst learning technique. So my solution is to feed a load of volleys and overheads to build her confidence and get the repetitions in. Timing is something you can't really teach with an easy trick. You just need to keep practicing. So hopefully this will work. I am so hard to get I think that's the, thing, the yeah. technique right that my timing's now off. And it's so frustrating because you've yeah. hit it so, it looked the shape of it, everything is good, but then you just miss. And then I miss it, yeah. Day two is a wrap. Time for day three where she has one more training session and then she has the rematch with the ladies. <laughs> you ready for day three? I'm ready. Still want to keep the technique, so really gently just back to me like that, okay? The plan for day three was just to get Ella hitting as many balls as possible. Not really giving her too much information or technical advice. I don't want to overwhelm her and get her more confused before the big match tomorrow. What do we want on this volley? Yeah. No swinging back. No bending back. What grip? Yeah. Look at that, it's easy now, isn't it? Are you okay with Kai coming around for a pizza? Yeah. Okay, kid. Well done, good movement. We spent around an hour just playing the point out in a row, just to get Ella hitting as many balls as possible, getting the repetitions in and helping her timing. I didn't want Ella to be overthinking too much in the match, so that's why I decided to give her no technical advice in this last day, just get her hitting as many balls as possible so she gets really high on confidence. Come on, come on, good, come on. <laughs> Here we go then, the three days training are finished and it is match day. Time for Ella to have her rematch with the ladies, but this time hopefully she will get the win. Instantly in the warm up, Ella already looks more comfortable. Her technique looks better on the forehand ground stroke, more relaxed and it doesn't look like she's going to miss. And the match begins. Come on, Ella, show us what you've learned. Here we go, the first high ball comes up to Ella. She plays it controlled, slow, down the middle and instantly gets a winner. Just goes to show you, paddle is not about the power. Ella's movement could be a lot better. It's quite a common one when you don't have the ball coming to use that you stand still. The ball goes down to Jane and she passes her down the line again, just like the previous match. But little does Jane know we have prepared for this exact moment as she plays the serve and Ella pummels a forehand straight down the line, getting her revenge. That sweet forehand ground stroke down the line must have filled Ella with confidence as she goes on a rampage of brutal forehand ground strokes that the ladies cannot deal with. This was by far her strongest shot. She looks very relaxed with it, but most of all, she's playing it flat, which means the control and consistency is very high. Ella scoring points off the court as well. She earns the ladies' respect. They start talking to her like she's one of their own. It was a great start to the match from Ella. However, her and her partner lose the first set. She's got one more chance as they switch the teams up. Come on. Ella serves towards the glass, a backhand return. She lets it bounce and controls it into the corner. Another serve with the return straight down the middle. 
Another strong serve, the ball comes up, Ella moves back, but then back into position, and then boom, backhand volley straight to the feet. Ella gets a tricky ball off the back glass, but deals with it, and then another ball that she plays straight down the middle again, and the mistake comes. Making the score 5-3. I can't quite tell if I'm watching the World Paddle Tour or the Molden Ladies right now. A tricky lob is in the air and Ella can't quite get it over, making the score 5-4. Here we go, the serve is played deep towards the glass. A lob is returned deep, running backwards and a lob is replied back. Ella waiting at the net position patiently. She has to deal with the strong Bahada. The ball goes up, this is it, and it is in the net. Game over. Ella gets the win, 6-4. You finished yes. your match. How did it go? Yeah, it went really well, a lot better than last time. I think you were way more solid. Yeah, more consistent. I wasn't, yeah. like, my power wasn't strong. I wasn't hitting the back, like, the back wall all the time. Ella was right, from struggling with the basics to claiming a 6-4 win. Ella really has transformed her game in just three days. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.